do it yourself Tony L here I had some comments on how I wired my ice powered monoblock amplifiers I'm gonna give my disclaimer again I have no formal education in electrical engineering my education comes from just being self-taught reading reviews and reading instruction manuals. The ice power amplifiers instructions aren't very good for beginners. It took me quite a while to figure out how to wire them. Um, I read a lot of reviews. I looked at a lot of photos that other people posted and figured it out. So I'm gonna open up one of my monoblocks and explain how I wired mine. It's been quite a few weeks since I've uh, completed my project. Uh, I listen to my stereo quite often. I've had no problems whatsoever. So let me open one up and show you what I did. Okay, here's the inside of my ICE 1000 watt uh, power amplifier. I'm gonna start from the power button on the front of the box. And here's a example of one. It's a 120 volt switch. This one has a little blue light. Mine has a red lighted switch. Three prong. Again, rated at 120 volts, has a brass tab and then two silver tabs. So, starting off at the top with this brass tab, you see this black wire here. I run it from the brass tab of the switch to my uh, power cord connector and it's ran to the neutral of the power cord connector. Now there's also another wire spliced with that. And if you can see that there, it's this blue wire that's coming off the neutral also, which comes to the connector that comes with this amplifier. And that blue wire goes to the neutral going into your board. Now your middle wire your middle tab here comes off your switch and goes to, I'm checking to make sure I have it right because I don't have all these wires color coded, goes to the brown wire on your connector, which is the L. Some people call it line, some people call it load. So this middle tab goes to the brown wire, which is the load. Now your bottom wire goes from the bottom tab of your switch and that bottom wire goes to the L, the line or the load of your power cord connector. So straight from your bottom tab, straight to your input of your 120 volt uh, cord. And then the third cord is your ground right here in the middle. Comes straight from your cord, straight to this green and kind of yellow wire, which is your ground on your board. And that's how I have that wired. When you flip the switch on, it lights up. When you flip the switch off, of course the light goes off, the power goes off. Other connections, your speaker output, your speaker left and right output. Red and blue. Wasn't quite sure about this. I looked at um, 
a few reviews, some photos that people had posted because there's actually two red wires, two blue wires, two positives, two negatives. I wasn't sure if you're supposed to use one or two. I saw a few photos of other people that did this build and they just wrapped them together. So I followed suit. Two red I wrapped together. It's on my positive banana plug output. And two blues, my negative. Wrapped them together, put it on my negative banana plug output. That takes care of my speaker out. The XLR, which I had no experience with, uh, was not quite sure of what XLR was, what it meant, and it's your your basically your speaker input. And from what I read, XLR is kind of like an RCA jack, but instead of having just a positive and negative. It has a positive, a negative, and a ground. These other wires are for other connections. You got a positive, that white wire, you got a negative, a ground, and then you have this third shielded wire, which is the grounding wire. And when you buy an XLR connection, you'll see your positive and negative, and you'll see your ground in this, this clear silver is that black thicker shielding wire that went to the ground of your XLR connector. Then I also jumpered the wire off of it and grounded it to the metal frame of this uh, case. From a few things that I read that it should be grounded to the case also. So that takes care of my audio input, the XLR input. Plug that back up. And as you can see here, um, I have a fan. I have a cooling fan. Wasn't sure about the heat that this would generate. I drilled several holes in the side of my case and drilled holes in the back of the case and mounted basically what is a it's a cooling fan i think they mostly use them for computers there are dc output connections with this amp the red and blue wire are 24 volt um i did test these on voltmeters the yellow wire is 126 volt and the green wire is 84 volt and the black wires next to them are the ground wires. This is DC output. Well, the red and blue were 24 volt. I got a 24 volt fan and it was extremely noisy. So I went down to a 12 volt fan and what I had to do so that the power supply would be the same, I got this step down module, which I got off Amazon, that will take 24 volts and reduce it to 12 volts. So my red and blue wire goes into this step down module and takes the 24 volts. And then when it does an output, it makes it 12 volts. I, I wired it directly to my fan and it's just a positive and negative just basic DC wiring and that gives me a cooling fan that actually draws the heat out of the box and that is all the wiring for this amplifier if you have any questions just drop me a comment I'll try to get back with you I believe I've covered all the wiring that's within here. So that'll be it. See you next time.